Howdy boys, it's NPC and today I'm bringing you guys another five cool character costumes because the first one was so well received and of course Halloween is tomorrow. Of course, this is not a Halloween exclusive video. You can wear these costumes anytime because they're not like scary themes, you know, they're just character costumes. So I'm currently wearing the Peppa Pig outfit from the first one. Make sure to check that one out if you haven't. I'll have it linked in the description. And before we hop into this one, make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoy. It really helps me out and lets me know that you wanna see more outfit content from me. So the very first outfit I'm gonna show you guys how to make today is of course the very famous Hero Brian slash Minecraft Steve with the simple contact change. Of course, super iconic character, so let's jump right into his fit. First, you're gonna to wanna to head over to the top section and go to t-shirts, which is 27 out of 60. And then you're gonna select the crew t-shirt and you are going to need to change your crew color to do this super easy to do just go to your rockstar social club edit your crew but regardless i'm going to put the color hex on screen right now in case you guys want to use this and then you'll have the crew color t-shirt in this beautiful bright blue which is number 65 out of 84. next we're going to head over to the pants section and then go to jeans which is the first option and go down to purple fitted jeans which is option 66 out of 103. now steve slash hero brian does have kind of like an indigo colored pants it's in between blue and purple to me they've always seemed purple so that's how i'm basing this outfit i think it looks more like him otherwise you'd end up with something like this or this and, and it just it doesn't look like steve to me i think purple this is iconic you know exactly who this is so next up for shoes we've got two options i think that work really well First up is skate shoes, and you can go with the all gray skate shoes, which is option 15 out of 17. That one works okay. I don't think it quite matches Steve's vibe the way I want it to, so we're gonna go to the very last shoe category called designer sneakers, and we're gonna pick the second to last option, number 26 out of 27, which is the dark gray designer lace-ups. Just give Steve some gray Yeezys, you know? Like, it, <laughs> I think it matches so well. Cause Steve is, is such an icon and such a, a big meme. I feel like he needs some shoes to back up that fame that he has so i think the yeezys work perfectly then we're gonna head over to a barber and for the hairstyles i think there's a few hairstyles that work for steve i've personally got the side parting one on in color five out of 48 but i do think things like short brushed caesar since it's so blocky high slicked sides and the zigzag corners are all pretty good options i think they capture steve's essence perfectly and uh yeah just color five for all of those and then for his beard option four out of 30 is the circle beard I think that's the best one. There's not really anything else that's in as good of contention in my opinion, because I think Steve has like that goatee. Full beard, maybe, you know, maybe something like this, but then I think it's like, he looks too Chad. I think this, <laughs> this one's a little goofy in my opinion. So circle beard. And of course, lastly for the contacts, that's going to determine whether we have Steve or Hero Brian. Your purple contacts, 12 out of 32, is gonna give you the Steve look. And then the very last option, 32 out of 32, zombie, completely whites out the eyes and makes it look like Hero Brian. So there you have it, Steve slash Hero Brian and GTA 5. Hope you guys can make use of this fit and troll your friends, whatnot. Let's move on to outfit number two. Up next, we have a minion from Despicable Me. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go over to the kiosk lady. And then under outfits, gun running, which is number 43 out of 54. For, we're gonna pick the pistol smith because that's gonna give us our overalls i looked everywhere and i could not find overalls i don't know if i'm missing something if i'm just blind and i missed them but i swear i double checked triple checked even i could not find overalls anywhere except for the pistol smith outfit so that's what we're gonna start out with then we're gonna head over to our top section and then once again under t-shirts we're gonna pick the stank t-shirt which is option 75 out of 84. minions actually don't wear anything under their overalls but our skin is not yellow so i think the stank t-shirt gives gives us that minion body color that we need. Then we're gonna head over to the shoe section and under boots, we're gonna pick the all black Chelsea boots, which is option 80 out of 116 because minions do actually wear black boots. They wear gloves as well, so we're gonna head over to the accessory section and under gloves, we're gonna pick the black leather gloves, which is number 60 out of 62. The black armored gloves work as well. They're both good options. I think the black leather gloves just seem a little more, you know, chill. It's light, it's goofy, but the black armored ones are like, it's very fitting for GTA, right? We're all about guns and theft and robbery and killing people, so. Next up, we're gonna head over to our glasses and under sports glasses, we're gonna buy the Ash Tactical Goggles number 20 out of 58. We are gonna need to do the telescope glitch in order to throw on the goggles. So I do recommend saving your outfit with the lady at the front desk. The telescope glitch is actually really easy to do. I've got a video that I'll link in the description below in case you guys wanna know how to do it, but I'm just gonna run through it really quick in case you guys wanna see. So the only thing you're actually gonna need is your mask on. I would recommend just saving the outfit beforehand. 
in case you need to reset. But as long as you have the mask and you've bought the Ash Tactical goggles, you can do the glitch. You're gonna need cash up in your top right corner. In the darker green, you're gonna run by the telescope and as soon as the prompt comes up, you hit E on keyboard. I think it's the D-pad on controller. And if your guy runs in place like mine just did, You've done it correctly. Open up the interaction menu, go to styles, accessories, throw on whatever glasses or goggles you want. There's our Ash Tactical goggles. Once we have those on, we just back out and then walk away and boom, there we go. Make sure you guys come back to the front desk lady and save your outfit so that you don't have to go through that whole process again. So boom, there you have it. Goofy little minion in GTA 5. Let's move on to outfit number three. And now for the most highly requested costume. You guys are absolutely spamming my comments. Everyone knows and loves this guy, especially GTA fans. So here you go. I took the time to make the fit. It's BTS Jimin. So first up for our hairstyles, we're gonna go to curtains, which is the very last hairstyle, 44 out of 44. And we're gonna put that in color 29 out of 48, of course course get that iconic k-pop silver he's gonna be clean shaven for the contacts i decided to go for a light gray because a lot of times k-pop idols use colored contacts that's number nine out of 32 for the gray to match the hair on stage they also do wear makeup so i have the soft gray around the eyes makes the eyes pop more number four out of 26 and then jimin does have very pronounced lips so i decided to go for a lined matte number four out of 11 in color six out of 42 makes them look nice and bright not over the top but noticeable full red that sort of thing then we're gonna head over to the top section of a clothing store and get a sweaters which is 43 out of 60 and select the black turtleneck which is number 69 out of the 93 super based for bts jimin then under biker jackets we're going to pick option 65 out of 70 and select the black blouse and jacket next we're going to go to the pants section and under jeans which is the very first category we're going to go to black fitted which is number 82 out of 103 now for our boots we have multiple options here first up is the all black chelsea boots which is number 80 out of 116 these are nice and clean i think fit the outfit well, but I don't really like that you can see the brown on the inside of the shoe or on the bottom. So alternatively, you can go to motorcycle boots, which is number 15 out of 17 and pick the black harness boots, which is option 22 out of 29. That gets rid of all the brown. Although the brown did match his belt buckle, I think it looks nicer in all black personally. So that's what I'm gonna be rocking. Up next, we're gonna head over to the accessory section and under earrings, which is the second category, we're gonna go to both and pick the first option that's not no earrings. So option two out of 35, Silver Framer Shame mics. Of course, because Jimin is a K-pop idol and he uses the microphone and they're dangly. Lastly, we're gonna go to glasses and under casual glasses, we're gonna pick the black casuals, which is number 107 out of 119. And just like that, our BTS Jimin outfit is completed. I think that my guy just looks gay because he's not Asian. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think if you really wanna look like Jimin, it's the face structure mostly. My guy definitely does not look like Jimin. Anyway, this is not his only style that I've seen in pictures that I could recreate. If you guys want to see more of BTS Jimin, because I know you guys do, be sure to let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's move on to outfit number four. Our last few outfits have had a ton of different parts. So for this one, I want to do something simple. It's going to be the Toy Story 3 monkey that watches on the security cam with the symbols. Really creepy dude. Scared the f*** out of me when I was a kid. So first up, we're going to head over to the mask shop and under the diamond casino heist, we're gonna pick the ape mask. It's right at the bottom, number 101 out of 104. Then we're gonna head over to the top section of a clothing store and go to vests and select the vest category, which is number 53 out of 60. And we're gonna select the yellow check vest, which is number 32 out of 40. It's black on the back, which is not what he has, but it is the most yellow vest that I could find. Next up, we're gonna head over to the pants and go to chinos and select the thin stripey chinos, which is number 52 out of 68. I'm not sure if everyone has this item. It's an Independence Day special item. I unlocked it many years ago by logging in on the 4th of July. At this point, it might be unlocked for everyone. Can't really make the fit because the only other option is the wide stripey chinos, which is also an Independence Day item. So definitely go check to see if you guys have it because Rockstar might've given it to everyone, similar to how they did with the Imponte Dukes, how that was locked behind being an old gen member. But yeah, definitely go check. Then we're gonna head over to the shoe section and under any category, of course, take off your shoes, expose those feet, let those dogs out, we love to see. And just like that, there is your scary Toy Story 3 monkey. I don't think we can get symbols or anything in GTA because that is like kind of the iconic part, aside from the fact that he's a monkey. But yeah, there's the fit. 
let's move on to our last outfit of the video, outfit number five, which is of course the man of the year, Mr. Robert J. Oppenheimer himself. There's actually several different ways of going about this fit. I'm gonna show you all of them and you guys can decide what to do from there because I'm sure everyone's gonna have their own personal preferences on what looks better, what matches, how you guys see the character. So basically, he wears a dark gray suit in the movie and we have the colors for that in GTA. I think the gray jacket, which is number 79 out of 83 under suit jackets is pretty on par with what he wears in the movie. It's like exactly the shade of gray pretty much. The thing is, he wears his jackets open. It gives him kind of this like, you know, relaxed vibe. He's just dealing with like nuclear fission and could end the world at any time, you know? So gray jacket, I decided not to go for, but I think the gray sports coat is also a potential winner here. It's number 77 out of 83 under the suit jacket section. The thing is with both of those options that I just showed you is that they don't match his fedora. Now you might be saying, NPC, why don't you just go change the fedora color? That's because there's no gray option that works better than the ash fedora. This is the grayest fedora that we're gonna get. Um, his is like a grayish brown, kind of like Steve's pants, how it's in the middle of like a blue and purple. I see his outfit being in a gray, but it could definitely be perceived as a brown. Brown suit fedora, number 16 out of 24, it does work. I'm gonna show you guys the gray outfit first because I think the gray version of what I had worked really well. It was just kind of on the lighter side. So we're gonna go for the ash fedora number 20 out of 24 under fedoras which is 10 out of 32 in the hat section the suit jacket that i'm wearing is number 70 out of 83 lilac sports coat under office shirts you can rock either the light blue office unbuttoned or the ash office unbuttoned i think both look like oppenheimer's blue and those are options 10 and 12 respectively of course we got a slap on a tie so we've got the standard black tie number 80 out of 86 for his pants we're wearing the light gray regulars number 58 out of 68 and i would have liked to go with the light gray slim fits but with slim fit suit pants you can't wear boots for whatever reason or not boots that like look nice tucked under your pants so uh that's why we've gone for the other version so that we can slap on of course the reliable all black chelsea boots number 80 out of 116 so that is oppenheimer version one it's just really light gray his suit is not this light at all but i perceived it as gray so that's why there's a gray option here for version two we're gonna go to fitted suit jackets and go for the navy continental open jacket i think this one's a lot closer to what he was wearing that's number 16 out of 33 then we can't wear an office shirt here without removing our jacket so we have to go to business shirts and pick another blue option so i've gone with the pale blue cuffed shirt which is number 16 out of 51 the pale blue cuffed shirt also works as well which is option 32 out of 51 of course slap on that tie again number 51 out of 69 and then we've got the gray pants under suit pants number 65 out of 68 and i think this one looks a lot more like oppenheimer in terms of his suit color but there is no hat no fedora that looks that that matches this and it's really a shame it's really off-putting to me i guess the black suit fedora could kind of work because it's got a similar color band around it but i don't know man i just feel like he's got this grayish brownish hat so i'm gonna try to recreate this one more time in a brown variant by using the brown suit fedora which is number 16 out of 24. next up under fitted suit jackets we're gonna go to the brown sharp fitted open which is number 19 out of 33. i actually do think the gray sharp fitted open looks quite nice it's got the right texture for it but i think i want to keep the outfit brown so brown sharp fitted open is gonna do the job for us once again under office shirts we can pick the pale blue cupped shirt which is number 32 out of 51 slap on our black tie number 51 out of 69 and then under the fitted suit pants number 21 out of 34 is the brown regular suit pants all black jelly boots number 80 out of 116 then we're gonna go for the side parting hairstyle which is number 5 out of 44 in the color dark gray 27 out of 48 i think oppenheimer's kind of got a brownish grayish kind of color he's like at that age you know in his 40s and i just think that and i think it works in gray because for the majority of the movie he's on the older side right like he gets old at the end of the movie and of course he's not exactly young young when he's doing all this stuff so i think the stress of working with nuclear bombs is going to give you some gray hairs you of course could go for a darker color i just think that this one works with the fit that i've created of course no eye makeup from the gym and fit and then i'm gonna put his lipstick to a color matte which is number two out of 11 in color 13 of 42. I think this one looks like just regular human lips and isn't as pasty as something like number 10. Ugh. Lastly, we're gonna throw in light blue contacts and that is gonna complete our Oppenheimer fit. This hat in the sunlight is, that was the struggle with this outfit. It's getting something to match with the outfits, which is why 
I ended up with a really light gray at first. Um, in the sunlight, this one does not look like anything like it did in the shade. There's three versions for you guys to choose from. Pick whatever one you like best, of course, and then pair it with uh, the car from his movie, which is the Classique Broadway. I've got this one in a matte olive green. And I actually do have an Oppenheimer garage tour if you guys wanted to pair some vehicles with this outfit as well. Anyways, that my friends is gonna wrap it up for our five cool character costumes part two. Be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below and let me know what your favorite ones were. And if you guys would like to see a part three or just more outfit videos in general from me, doesn't have to be related to Halloween, of course. Although Halloween is tomorrow, so be sure to make use of these outfits. Anyway, sub to the channel if you guys are new. I'll have more outfit content coming out in the future if you guys like it. And if not, then you'll just see good old man hunts. But anyway, that's all I got for this one. Peace.